Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing my February shout out. So as always, there are 10 channels for me to go through. Let's just go through them. So, Dane reads. First up we have Minx Laura 123 ASMR. She does actually have another channel. So this is her main channel that's an ASMR channel. She has another channel which is more of a vlog channel where she does a little bit of everything, um, including some book stuff. But uh, Laura's always been sort of super supportive of myself. Um, and actually, just as I was working on the shout outs list for, for February, uh, she posted something on Facebook saying that she'd been binging on my channel, which was very kind of her. I also follow her on TikTok, which I now have an account for. Um, yeah, great, very approachable person and just a lot of fun as well. Then we have John Warner. So uh, John hasn't actually uploaded for a while, but he, he has here and there in the past. Um, he comments on my videos a lot as well. And he's one of the more, I would say, more well-read people that I chat to I guess like we were chatting about Chekhov had been to see some Chekhov uh, in the theatre when he was younger um, we were chatting about Ivanov which is probably my favourite of the Chekhov plays that I read uh, overall cool guy I uh, hope you'll go through check out some of his older videos and again if he, he gets enough shout outs and enough people check him out maybe he'll start creating content again then we have Joel Swagman so Joel is a great guy uh, by this point his wife might have just given birth actually um she hasn't yet as far as i know um but we're doing a buddy read together of the wizard of oz series and we're doing a book every two weeks and so he did mention that in sort of january time ish um he might have to put it on on a pause for a while or catch up afterwards if his if his wife does go into labor which she presumably will do at some point um, but yeah, very cool guy. He's uh, done some reading vlogs recently, which are cool as well. And I like his review style because he used to keep a blog. And so he does a lot of these like reviews where he basically takes his old blogs and turns them into reviews, which I think is a cool idea. All right, then we have Sadie Reads again. So this is a fairly recent subscription for me. Um, she's got some great content. I mean, again, she hasn't posted at the time of filming anyway. She hasn't posted for a couple of months. Um, but she's done the what the fuck are you tag. Uh, some what she's been buying recently, what she's been reading recently, did some stuff on the booktube prize. Um, and just a very cool member of the community, always a lot of fun to chat to. Then we have Jeremy Fee, uh, big shout out to Jeremy because I saw on Instagram recently he's bought possibly all of my books, if not most of my books. So thank you for that Jeremy. Uh, he's got a great little channel, reads a little bit of everything. Uh, you rarely see his face, uh, although you can in the, I think it was in Local Haunts anthology because he's also a writer. And uh, he's actually a really decent writer, I'd uh, recommend checking out some of his stuff because I've really enjoyed what I've read of his. All right, then we have Hungry Bookworm, and I um, was chatting to her recently because she created the uh, Murder on the Orient Express tag. Uh, so a fellow Agatha Christie fan, and she's also been doing her best to check out all the channels that do that as well. So uh, consider yourself tagged if you're watching this to do the Murder on the Orient Express tag, and uh, go and give Hungry Bookworm a subscribe while you're at it. Then we have Slady V. It just comes up as Slady V on my computer, but I'm sure it used to be Slady Vlogs. She's a Slady Valheim, or Valhelm, I want to say. She's another one of uh, the authors who's also been in, I think, in Local Haunts and Serve Cold and various other of uh, the uh, AuthorTube and BookTube anthologies. But she also does a lot of horror tube videos. So if you're into horror, go and check out Slady's channel. Then we have Mindy's book journey. I'm going to give uh, the same shout out that I normally give for Mindy, which is that if you're into readathons, check out Mindy's channel because she participates in a lot of them, does a lot of TBRs and stuff. So you're basically never going to miss out on a readathon if you uh, watch Mindy because I think she does all of them. I don't know how she finds the time or energy, to be honest. All right, then we have Abraham Woodrum. Uh, he used to, oh, he's had various channel names throughout the years. A lot of his stuff now is actually short form video, which is great if you're looking for someone you can just dip in and out of. But he reads a lot of cool stuff as well. He's a really approachable guy, has some uh, interesting takes on different things. Um, so he's not just booktube, although he does do uh, booktube videos as well, but he's been kind of diversifying recently. Overall, just a good channel, go check him out. And finally we have Brandon's Bookshelf. So another recently new channel that I've discovered. Uh, let's see what the recent videos are. Fab Four Book Tag. Uh, top books of 2021. Some stats, which is always good. Um, some like collab videos. Planet Walker by John Francis. Kindness of Strangers. Are You Truly Free? So a lot of non-fiction there. Um, and yeah, just again another channel that I'm looking forward to checking out more videos by. So there we have it, those are 10 channels that I recommend for February 2021. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments. If you watch any of these channels, let me know some of the channels you think I should check out as well. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button both on my channel and on any of these channels that you would like to hear more from. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.